Still clapping. Listen to the crowd, still clapping at the hip drum. <laughs> hey, it's not often you get to tour the country, performing on Broadway and even landing a spot at the place you're from. For one local girl, that's exactly what she's doing this weekend right here in Baltimore. WMER 2 News' Ashley McDowell spoke with her just before the curtain went up on this opening night. 10-year-old Hazel Vogel, a Towson native, brings her dream home to the stage here in Baltimore for Les Mis at the Hippodrome. And tonight, I caught up with her before the first show. Friends and family greet the young star with hugs and pictures during a gathering before she prepares to take the stage. Hazel Vogel has been on the road performing in different cities for the past four months after getting the role of Cosette in the Broadway tour of Les Mis, an opportunity that came about after she caught the attention of some organizations during a camp in New York a few summers back. They asked me to come up to New York and do an audition and then the next day I got a call back and my parents about a week and a half later heard that I was, I got the role. Getting to explore different parts of the country is exciting, but this weekend the performances will really hit home. So many different cities we get to go to, but this is definitely the most exciting one out of them all. Something she has dreamt of her whole life, now she gets to play the part. It's, it's very crazy and it's, it's also really fun because I'm going to get to be performing on a stage that I've seen so many different plays on and I've always wanted to be on that stage. So. She says her next stop is Chicago, but until then, she's soaking up all the time with friends and family she can in the meantime. It's really, it's really fun to see all my friends like at school and I've had some people over at my house to say hi and I'm with my family obviously. It's really nice. Les Mis will be at the Hippodrome until February 12th, but her mom tells me tickets are limited. So if you want to catch the performance, head to WMER2news.com for a link to the website.